really interesting piece in that it takes away probably an actor's most prominent performance tool, yeah. your voice. What was it like to, to be on stage for that long and not be able to actually say a word? Well, it was precisely why I said yes to the piece because, um, you know, especially I enjoy uh, speaking <laughs> so much <laughs> and expressing myself through uh, my voice. So having that taken away, I was very curious how I would respond mm -hmm. to the challenge. So it was one of those things where I felt like, well, I, I have no idea how I would do this. So I, I want to explore that. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, when something is taken away, uh, you start to find other ways to explore and express yourself. And that's when I realized, wow, there's actually so many parts to us as human beings and as actors that sometimes we often forget about. The voice is just one of many, many elements that make up who we are. Uh, even our face has an eyebrow, a nose, a nostril, a smile, a tongue, lips, ear. And, Every and then it just thing tells us. Yeah, story. exactly. And so, so often, because voice is the most prominent element, that we often just go to the easiest thing and the most obvious thing. And it becomes such a gift when that's taken away, you realize, my God, it actually opens the door to all these other elements that you sort of forgot about. Mm -hmm. It's a, it, it's fantastic. I'm a, I'm a director as well as a podcaster. Um, and one of the things that I, I find often, especially in film performance, is somebody has dead eyes. You know, mm. they might be performing with their mouth, but their eyes don't don't match what they're conveying. Sure. Um, so it was it was fascinating to me to watch you perform tonight. Thank you. Strictly with eyes and yeah. and body and everything oh, but the voice. Um, you know, the grunting. I I, I I didn't even hear the grunting. All I was focused on was was how your body told the story tonight. Um, it was really fascinating. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, during the rehearsal, uh, I explored a lot with um, something about this piece made me identify with a lot of animals. There was something very primal about mm -hmm. the piece. And I felt like um, there's a lot of animalistic uh, type of journey. Well, you're in a I, cage. You, yeah. You know? Yeah, you're right. It makes a lot of sense. There's sort of a wild animal in a cage uh, type of feeling about this. And in, in a... a sort of a metaphorical cage and it's symbolic of many things mm -hmm. whether it's this hospital room slash prison or um feeling like you're almost at the edge of freedom or whatever your goal was or whatever that you thought it was coming to you and then all of a sudden it's like nope it's just out of your reach now nope it's just a little bit more farther away than you thought and so there's that sort of cage and then um having an instrument but not being fully understood you know mm -hmm. uh, so um i feel like it took some time to kind of discover those layers and um even within the piece i felt myself becoming different type of animals you know whether it was a panther and then becoming sort of an orangutan where you know there was like this new toy and 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 i was playing with a new toy mm -hmm. and then there was sometimes where i felt like uh, like a wounded wildcat or like um, a killer whale that had his mate taken away. Right. So yeah. uh, yep. that's powerful. Uh, so, so uh, it was interesting how, and you know, it's not a, a, a tremendously long piece yet, even within that confines, I, I was very surprised how many different, um, emotional layers that you could sort of explore and discover. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was just mesmerized through the entire performance tonight. So congratulations on a great opening night. Thank you. You've got many more to come before the fest is over. Yes. Um, but what can, uh, what can people look for you in after SciFest? What do you have coming up? Well, uh, I think I'm going to be filming a project called A Smuggler, um, which is about a... Um, sort of this guy who has to smuggle in high profile people, um, sort of like a transporter for mm -hmm. human beings. Um, and then uh, we're in talks now for a project uh, that films in August 
and uh, it's a tremendous script. Um, oh, and then uh, I'm doing something on the digital space, which is kind of exciting. It's uh, uh, it's a digital series called Nobility, and um, I guess the best way to describe it will be if Star Trek met uh, The Office. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> almost my curiosity peaked. With yeah. <laughs> so almost like a behind the scenes sort of uh, docu style of the inner workings of a spaceship. That'll be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So we uh, just had our first day of filming, which was fantastic. They had built this inside of. Um, uh, I, I'm I'm the navigation pilot uh, of the of the ship Nobility and. Um, uh, I have a sort of a, a, a cargo airplane that's uh, called the Betty, and they build the the inner, the inside of that a ship from scratch. <laughs> so uh, that's that quite fascinating. And um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to. We got a a, a great cast. Uh, actually, Adrian Wilkinson, who was um, sort of the 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 she's, android, she's the, who sort of yeah, welcome intro face. Yeah, exactly. Uh, she's part of the cast, a cast Anvar, uh, and um, uh, I believe. Walter Koenig from the original Star Trek. Yeah, Walter Koenig. He's yeah, in. he's also part of it. So there's a lot of people from the sci-fi genre in it. So I'm That's kind awesome. of excited to see how. It's a small community, how. right? Yeah. <laughs> like once yeah. you're in, you're part yeah. of the family of. Sci-fi. And I've really enjoyed all the cast members of this show. You know, there's a lot of people that I've either met in passing or didn't know, but sort of was aware of, and uh, they were able to get together. Just really extraordinary group of people. Yeah, it's a fantastic festival. Uh, we encourage everybody to come out and watch you guys. Uh, you've got, what, five more nights this week, six more nights this week, and then another yeah, week. Yeah, five more nights now, this right? week, and then and then we come back the week after next. So Great. Yeah. Well, thank you for sitting down with us. Oh, you're welcome. And, it's my uh, pleasure. Congratulations on a great opening night. Thank you so much. All right.